In just three easy steps, you'll be able to flash freeze a bottle of water just by touching it. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> huh. Make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to Spacebound for more top 10 videos every day. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Leave a friendly comment and I'll make sure to reply to every single one of you. Hi and welcome to Spacebound, where today we'll be looking at 25 of the coolest science experiments you and your kids can do at home. Number 25, Crystal Egg Geodes. If you're ever looking for colorful rock decorations, for some reason, here's a little something something. First poke a hole in the shell to release its contents. Then use scissors to cut the eggshell in half. Next coat the inner shell with glue and alum powder. Then in a container, mix two cups of very warm water with three cups alum powder and 30 drops of your desired color. Lastly, let your eggs sit at the bottom of the cup with your solution for 15 hours and you've got yourself some beautiful crystal-like shells. Number 24, Glowing Bubbles. This one is relatively simple to do, though your results may vary depending on what form of glowing liquid you use. If, for example, you pick to use glow sticks, it will last around 20 minutes, and all you need to do is mix it with your bubble solution, so dish soap will do if you've got that laying around just randomly. Number 23, Leftovers. You'll never have to buy vegetables again. Well, some if you actually bother doing this. It's a great money saver though and teaches your kids about vegetation and farming. For example, place the root of your lettuce in the glass of water for roughly around a week and transfer over to soil. The same goes for scallions. Place into water for a couple of days and transfer to soil if you want to, but not exactly necessary. And for onions, plant in the center of soil and water regularly. Pretty basic stuff, but really awesome results. Number 22, Magnetic Cereal. If you didn't know already, cereal is a great source of iron, and some cereals with high amounts of iron include Honey Bunches of Oats, Kellogg's, Cheerios, and even Chex. All are great for this experiment. It's a 50-50 chance this will work for you, but if you place a magnet over a piece of cereal floating in the water, you can manipulate the cereal to follow the magnet because iron is metal, just in case you didn't know. Number 21, Green Money. It's not what you think. You're literally just turning your copper-enriched pennies green. Simply dampen the paper towel in vinegar and leave your pennies over it. And over time, they'll turn green because it causes the copper to slowly dissolve. Number 20, film canister rockets. Well, it's not exactly a rocket. Okay, so all you need is a film canister to fill halfway with water and drop an Alka-Seltzer tablet in the canister. Seal it up and soon enough, the Alka-Seltzer recalls an extreme high pressure buildup and then it explodes. Number 19, ice cream in a bag. There are various methods to doing this experiment, but here's our delicious awesome version. First, fill a small Ziploc bag with one cup cream, one teaspoon vanilla extract for flavor of course, and two tablespoons icing sugar or powdered sugar, both would work either or. In a larger bag, fill it with ice and salt, along with the smaller bag. Now shake vigorously for seven to 10 minutes. This is where the kids come in. Eventually, it'll come to a semi-soft consistency like ice cream. You can also make butter just by shaking heavy cream, no ice needed. Number 18, puffy soap. Ideally, you want some sort of soap that can float in water. Ivory is most common. It's because just the brand of soap has air trapped within it, so obviously it expands. After you take it out of the microwave, however, let it cool just a little bit and you can squeeze it back into a regular soap brick because all the air will escape. Number 17, dancing gummy worms. Okay, this one is super easy. Simply cut a gummy worm into quarters and place them into a cup of salt water for around 15 or more minutes. Then drop them into a glass of vinegar and they'll start to spin and dance around. It's very weird to watch, but also very satisfying. So I would definitely recommend this one. Number 16, awesome color blending. For this experiment, you'll need seven cups, preferably clear, red, yellow, and blue food coloring, and a paper towel. Fold the paper towels in half, long ways, and fill every other cup with water and your food coloring like so. Then, fold each paper towel into opposing cups. Now watch the magic happen. Number 15, Tea Bag Ghosts. There's not much to it really, to be honest. Just cut off the top part of a tea bag with a staple and empty it out. Then balance it on a plate and light it on fire. It makes for a great Halloween trick if you put the effort in and draw a ghost on the tea bag. Number 14, Sticky Ice. For this, you'll want to place some ice in a container with cold water. Lay some string over the ice, sprinkle some salt on it, and leave it in the water for around a minute or two to allow the salt to wash away. The salt initially melts the ice, but once washed away, the water freezes around the string and attaches it to the ice cube. Lift up the string and the ice comes out of the water with it. 
Number 13, homemade snow. So for this one, all you need is water and sodium polyacrylate. Sounds fancy, but it's easy to find online. Trust me, I actually tried to look it up and two links later I find it. And what does this do exactly? Well, it absorbs water very quickly and in a large quantity, expanding the powder to make it look and somewhat feel like snow. So if you're ever looking to celebrate Christmas in July, we've got you covered. Number 12, candy cane molding. Tired of that classic look? Here's how to make eating candy canes more interesting, if that's even a thing. Just place however many on a parchment paper covered baking sheet. Put them in a 250 degree oven for 10 minutes, they'll be a little puffy, but hold the shape wonderfully. This is great if you still have some leftover canes from the holidays and Valentine's Day is fast approaching. Number 11, the floating M. If you didn't know already, those M's on your M&M's are made up of edible paper, so by placing a few M&M's in a glass of water, they'll eventually dissolve, and after about 5 to 10 minutes, the M's will begin floating and you can pick them up with your fingers. Somewhat of a useless science experiment, but it's really cool to do. I've done it before, and I absolutely recommend it for the younger ones. Number 10. Egg Eruption So we've already mentioned in a previous science experiments list how you can make rubber-like bouncing eggs, but as it turns out, there's actually more to it. So, after you've got your bouncy egg by letting a raw egg sit in vinegar for roughly around 24 hours, rest it on an egg holder or something similar and poke a hole into it. Boom, you've got yourself a mini eruption. Super simple and messy, so sorry parents, might want to keep some paper towels around. Number 9, watercolors. This one is super cool and if you're ever feeling extra creative, well, this is the one to do. What you'll need to start with is getting liquid white glue and use it as your pencil. Literally draw whatever you want with it over a canvas. Then before it dries, sprinkle salt over it and remove any excess salt. Next, you'll need a source of water coloring. So for something quick, just mix water and food dye and drip it over the salt where desired. And it looks like crystal art. Pretty simple, but again, really awesome to try. Number eight, the power of bleach. If you've ever wanted to witness firsthand what bleach is capable of, here's your chance. Mix in some water with food coloring, in this case, red. Then mix it with some bleach in another cup. Repeatedly switch the fluids back and forth from cup to cup to cup to cup to get a good mix going and just let it sit. Over time, the red will fade away, like in your stained clothing. This is because the bleach oxidizes the molecules from your food coloring to the point of transparency. Sounds confusing, but it's really cool to watch. Also, I probably shouldn't have to mention this, but make sure your kids don't drink this. Or you, anyone, because it's horrible, please. Number 7. Homemade Rain If you've ever wanted a close-up visualization of how rain forms in our atmosphere, here's an experiment just for that. Simply boil up some water into a vase and place a bowl over it until it becomes somewhat foggy. Then fill the bowl with ice. Soon enough, hot air within the vase will react with the coolness of the bottom of the ice bowl, creating condensation. Number 6. Jellyfish in a Bottle Start this one off by mixing food coloring into a water bottle. Next, cut out a square from a plastic bag and pour a little bit of water into the center, followed by wrapping some string around it tightly. That'll be the jellyfish's head. Then cut apart the lower half to give it some stringers. Finally, put our little jellyfish into a bottle and add some final bits of food coloring. Pretty cool if you ask me. And there you go. Number 5. Plant Growth Manipulation, or in other words, tropism. It's a really cool experiment to see how a plant's growth is affected by where they receive sunlight. In this case, the plant's source of light was changed from side to side every 12 hours or so, so we can see where the plants were most attracted to. It takes a while to do, but arguably the results are very cool to watch and absolutely worth the wait. Number 4. Firefly Jars Okay, this one is extremely simple and pretty much anyone can do it. All you need is a clear jar and glow sticks. Cut off the edges of your glow stick and shake them like crazy into the jar so they go all over. And it's pretty cool looking and neat for parties. For added effect, dust some glitter into the jar as well. That makes it look crazy. Number 3. Snot I was gonna make a joke, but it's not really that funny. Ha 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 ha. I'm dead inside. Anyways, this is basically our regular take on making slime, but with the added benefit of giving it its snotty texture. Just add 7 spoons of gelatin to a half cup of hot water and stir very gently. Then add a quarter cup of corn syrup and stir until you're happy with the consistency. Add green food coloring if you want more of a snotty cartoonish look to it, but be warned, this gets pretty gross looking, so if you're queasy, just watch out. Number 2. Inertia. Basically, it means if you don't apply a force to an object at rest or in motion, it will stay at rest or at that same motion along a straight path. So, when you would place an egg like so, the force of the impact is dealt by the container so the egg stays motionless and falls straight down. 
Careful, this one's gonna get just a little bit messy, so again, like a similar one, make sure you have paper towels just an arm's length away. And finally, number one, the non-popping balloon. All right, so balloons go pop when it's put near a source of fire or anything sharp pokes against it, but here's a way to prevent this. It holds no significant need to your daily lives whatsoever, but it's pretty cool to know anyways, because why not? By putting water in a balloon, it absorbs a majority of the heat from the flame against the balloon. It's cool to think of it like this. Because of all the water in our Earth's many lakes and oceans, a majority of the heat rated by our sun and atmosphere is absorbed, controlling our ecosystem that actually makes this planet habitable. The more you know, just in case you didn't know that, there you go. And with that being said, that concludes 25 coolest science experiments you can do at home for kids. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for better content to come in the future. Other than that, make sure to check on screen now for various different annotations to other videos similar to this one or other ones that I think you might like. But before you leave and click on those, make sure to check the description at the very bottom. And there's a link to a good foundation for a good cause, so please go check that out. But besides all of that, have yourselves a great day and a fun one.